uh, in us has contributed a lot in terms of uh, the building capacity usage evidence program. We started working with INASP during the information literacy programs, so which we then uh, we managed then to transform the, the one sing one off programs of information literacy to a more systematic, coherent program in terms of uh, 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 implementing the, the evidence informed policy making toolkit in Zimbabwe. So INAS has made uh, a considerable impact in terms of formation of our network. Knowledge cafes basically these are cities, these are platforms which you use to engage the cities, the wider the wider citizen and wider audiences in promoting the use of evidence in policy making. We use these platforms to demystify the concept of evidence informed policy making. As you know, evidence informed policy making is relatively a new concept in Zimbabwe. So we try to promote the use of evidence, the way the importance and why the evidence is important and how evidence can be used in policy making in Zimbabwe through the knowledge cafes. We, we had a knowledge cafe on the Zimbabwe Youth Act review, where we're trying to, to where we tried to examine the current Youth Act review, current Youth Act, in terms of the evidence base which led to its formation. So we noticed that most of the the clauses within the Act, they actually they were more from uh, they, they are politically based. Uh, uh, a politically based evidence. It was not real research evidence which was driving it. So through that, through through that knowledge cafe, we have, we, have, we we set up a, a steering committee of uh, youth-based organisation, the government of Zimbabwe ministries, officials, and ZipNet. We, we are now working on uh, concretizing and building the evidence on the Zimbabwe Youth Act review right now in Zimbabwe.